Well, what it are. This week I'm sharing with you the five Protestant solas. As I said yesterday, the five solas are the five Latin phrases popularized during the Protestant Reformation that emphasize the distinction between the early reformers and the Roman Catholic Church. The word sola is the Latin word for only and was used in relation to the five key teachings that defined the biblical pleas of Protestantism. And they are, of course, sola scriptura, scripture alone, sola fide, faith alone, sola gratia, grace alone, solo Christo, Christ alone, and soli de gloria, to the glory of God alone. Yesterday we considered the first of the five solas, namely sola scriptura. This morning, let's consider the second of the five, namely sola Fide. Sola fide emphasizes salvation as a free gift from God. You see, the Roman Catholic Church of the time emphasized the use of indulgences, that was, donating money to buy status with God. Good works, including baptism, were seen as a requirement for salvation. Sola fide stated that salvation is a free gift from God to all who accept it by faith. Jesus himself taught us that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You see, salvation is not based on human efforts or the good deeds of men and women. As Paul makes abundantly clear in Ephesians 2 and 9 when he states, not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. Sola fide, which means faith alone, is important because it is one of the distinguishing characteristics or the key points that separate the true biblical gospel from false gospels. At stake is the very gospel itself. And it is therefore a matter of eternal life or death. Getting the gospel right is of such importance that the Apostle Paul would write to believers in Galatia, Galatians 1 and 9, saying, As we have already said, so I say again, if anyone is preaching to you a gospel other than what you accepted, let him be eternally condemned. Paul was addressing the same question that Sola Fide addresses. On what basis? Is humanity declared justified before God? Is it by faith alone or by faith combined with works? Paul makes it clear in Galatians and in Romans that humanity is justified by faith in Christ and not by observing the law. Galatians 2.16 and the rest of the Bible concurs. Sola fide is so important to the gospel message and biblical understanding of salvation that Martin Luther describes it as being the article with and by which the church stands, faith alone. And those who reject sola fide reject the only gospel that can save them and by necessity embrace a false gospel. 
Therefore, this morning, I pray or say rather with Eliza Hewitt, my faith has found a resting place, not in device nor creed. I trust the ever living one, his wounds for me shall plead. Enough for me that Jesus saves. This ends my fear and doubt. A sinful soul, I come to him. He'll never cast me out. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. Sola fide, by faith alone, not by my works or my efforts. But Jesus has done it all and all I need to do is believe in his finished work. Sola fide. God bless you as you listen to the rendition of that old hymn. Poor Ben Dave. My faith has found a resting place not in a man-made creed I trust the ever-living one that he for me will plead. Enough for me that Jesus saves this ends my fear and doubt. A sinful soul Physician heals the sick, the lost he came to save. For me his precious blood he shed, for me his life he gave. I need no other evidence, I need no Stop.